Hello everyone, you are looking at the B Challenger bike from Be Cool Bikes. And we're gonna do a range test on this bike today because I am very curious how far this thing is gonna go under throttle power only. It's not really a bike that's set up to pedal a whole lot. You're gonna ride this pretty much just using the throttle, like a motorcycle, I think. It's kind of what it looks like. And it has an enormous battery pack in his, inside this fake gas tank. It's just a plastic tank. It's non-removable, you can't take the battery off, but it is huge. It's a 30 amp hour battery pack on there, which is the largest battery I've ever had on any e-bike ever. And we're gonna find out how far it'll go under its own power. I'm not gonna pedal this thing at all. That's how I do the range test. You know, throttle only, no pedaling. So we'll see how far it gets. A uh, couple quick stats, I weigh about 180 pounds. This bike weighs 98 pounds on my scale anyway. So it's almost a 100 pound e-bike. This is a very heavy bike. That's gonna factor in, I'm sure. I've got the tire pressure set at like 22. Uh, we're gonna do a mixture of flats, hills, inclines, you know, some varied terrain, but mostly pavement. I'm gonna keep it on the pavement. I'm not really gonna take it off road. And we'll see how far it goes without pedaling it. I, uh, I've got 2.4 miles on it already. Oh, and actually it shut off. So let me turn it back on. There we go, turn it back on. And I've got my phone GPS running as well to keep track of the mileage so we can compare and see how far it's off. I've already noticed it's a little bit off even after two miles. So it's gonna be kind of a discrepancy there between my phone GPS and the odometer on the screen, I think. So we'll just kind of blend them, I guess, maybe, and get the, the total distance. I, I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know where to guess this one. It's, it's such a heavy bike. So this is a 30 amp battery. So I'm gonna guess this is going over 50 miles is gonna be my guess. I don't even know where to put it, but it's gonna be up there. I'm probably gonna end up doing this over a couple of days because I just don't have time to ride this for four hours at <laughs> one, one shot. Let's get this underway and see how far we get. I will check back in when we hit some kind of milestone here. This doesn't really have battery bars. It just has a, you know, a long indicator on the side here. So I'm not gonna really have segments to count as it goes down. I'm just gonna have to watch it, but we'll see. So I'll check back in soon. So the Challenger is a really comfortable bike to ride anyway. I'll tell you that it's got full suspension and these, you know, high handlebars that come back to you. So it's really like a cruiser motorcycle. I feel like I'm riding a, a miniature cruiser motorcycle when I ride this thing. But we're gonna go out here to our range test area where we can just hold the throttle wide open and uh, try to burn through some batteries as quick as we can. I'm in pedal assist zero. Uh, it, the throttle works no matter what pedal assist level you're in. So I'm just gonna keep it at zero. I'm not gonna pedal anyway, so. Just lay down some miles. 31 miles an hour, 32. I don't know if that's right or not. It doesn't feel that fast. All right, we got a turn coming up. I'm gonna use my turn signal. Wait for this traffic. And we'll check my six. Looks good. Make this little turn. This bike has turn signals front and back, and also a horn. Really loud horn, actually. It sounds more like a motorcycle horn than it does a bicycle horn. This is why I love this road. It's just three, three and a half miles straight of just holding this throttle wide open. This is great for range tests. I could just max throttle down and back down and back you know yeah I, I log like 12 miles just riding this road back and forth all right what in the world is this thing wow i gotta slow down and talk to this guy what in the heck wow awesome that is cool, man. It's nice and comfortable. It looks comfy. Holy cow. Huh? Wow, you got a Bafang mid-drive on there? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 750. Very cool. So, yeah. It's pretty comfortable. That is unique. Did you make that or did you buy that? I bought part of it and made part of it. That is super cool, man. So, I like it a lot, man. That's awesome. Thank you. I'll let you get back to it, but All very right. cool. You too. Have fun. Have a good one. That thing was incredible. He had like a roof on it and a windshield, a Bafang uh, 750, like the mid-drive motor on the front wheel. 
<laughs> that was awesome. I love that. That is fantastic. That guy built that thing himself. I'm sure he started with a you know recumbent bike, but then made it his own, designing that thing. That is so cool. All right, quick pit stop. I am 20 miles in, although my bike odometer says 29.6. It's a full nine miles different than my GPS, but. And the battery bar, you can see the battery, I mean, it's gone down just this like centimeter, this tiny, teeny, tiny little bit. And there's all of this battery left. So this is gonna last forever, I think, but we're, I found another nice long straight stretch of a road and we're just crushing it through here. It's probably like, probably longer than the other one. I'm betting it's probably a good four or five miles where I can just hold it wide open. So let's keep going and doing that. It's crazy windy today. Gosh, like the wind is killing me. Probably hurting my mileage for sure. Okay, we're still going. I took a nice long pit stop at home for lunch and to take a, a quick break. We've gone about, well, I mean, on the GPS, we've gone like 32 miles and on this bike, odometer it's reading 50 miles <laughs> so they're way off they're way off i believe the phone there's no way i've ridden 50 miles on this bike um definitely 30 miles is where we're at currently and it's still showing like half battery which i'm surprised because it's got to be less than half at this point and it's saying 45.9 volts i don't know where the low voltage cutoff is but we're at 45.9 right now as it sits there um, I still think it's going to get close to 50. I don't know if it'll get there or not. We're going to find out. This is why we do this. So let's keep trucking along here. I will, um, I'll try to report back when I've gotten, I think, near the end. I don't like to drag these videos out too long. This takes forever. This takes hours. I've been out here for like over two hours total riding this thing. It's going to take a long time to kill these giant batteries like this 30 amp hour battery. That's pretty crazy. But I mean, it's still got the same amount of power in the throttle right now. It'll still go up to, you know, like 27 miles an hour if you're on level ground. And uh, it, it struggles a little more in the hill just because it's a heavy bike, man. This is like almost a hundred pound bike, but it's been comfortable to ride. So I will let you know once we get close to the end. All right, the battery is really kind of started dropping on me. So when I give it full throttle, and start going for a while it drops down into the red right now it's showing green when you put it under stress it drops to a red color it goes down a little further and i've seen the voltage drop to like 20 or you know, 20 uh 42 42 so i think we're getting close i'm heading towards home <laughs> because i do not want to get stranded far from home on this thing it's hard to pedal and it is a hundred pound bike so we're gonna stick close to home from here on out and uh, get this down to where there's no usable power. And we'll see what that final number is. I don't even know what I'm at right now. I have to pull up my phone to look, but it's certainly not, it says 59 miles on the screen. That's not even close. Uh, I must have the wheel setting off or something. It's just so, so far off. But I thought it was set right in there. I'll have to look and see. Okay, we have reached the end. It just, uh, no warning, just cut out on me. It was the same way on the B Explorer bike when I got to the end. There was no slow die off. It's just you have full power and then boom, done. <laughs> and that's what happened here. I was going up this hill and it just shut off completely. So I must have hit that low voltage cutoff level or something. So no power, we're out of power. And we went, I just checked my phone, GPS, and the good old Challenger bike from B Cole made it 42 miles. So. That's what I got throttle only out of this bike. 42 miles. The, uh, the Explorer bike got, I think, 41, and it had a much smaller battery on it. It was a 20 amp hour battery. This is a 30, and it went pretty much the same. So I'm gonna guess that that's probably due to the weight. This is a much heavier bike, like 30 pounds heavier bike, so. I guess that factors in because everything else felt the same. I mean, it's the same motor, same power delivery on the bike, and it even has a bigger battery. So I'm guessing it's the weight that factors in, and that's why it went about equivalent, about 42 miles, but which is still insane. <laughs> I mean, no pedaling at all, 42 miles I rode this thing. It feels basically like a low-powered motorcycle when you're riding it around. 
and everyone was looking at me. Everybody I drove past took a second glance at this thing because it's a uh, it's something unique that you've never seen before. I think right now this this might be the only Challenger in the U.S. right now. So it is definitely something people have not seen before. It's a cool little bike. I will make this suggestion though, if you were looking at the Challenger bike and you're saying, what do I buy? Because they're going to offer this in a 750 and also a thousand watt motor. And you say, which one do I buy? I would tell you to spring for the thousand watt. You're probably going to want it. If you're buying this style of, of bike, you're probably going to want that extra power. I've never been on a Be Cool thousand watt bike. So I don't know how much different it is, how much more power there would be for acceleration or hills. I would imagine there's more. So I would say if you got the extra cash, you might you might want to spring for that. Very, very good range out of it. I got to give it that. I mean, four, over 40 miles. The screen, it cut out on me, so I won't be able to see until I charge it back up. But I think it was, it was saying like 65. It was way off. I got to check the settings. The wheel setting must have been off, throwing that way off. But the GPS, which doesn't usually lie, said 42. So there you go. Luckily, I finished... Uh, I've just been cruising around my neighborhood here, so I'm only, I don't know, probably a half a mile from home, and thank goodness, because this thing, this is gonna be fun to pedal home. I'm gonna, you just don't have the angle, you know, to input in the pedals a lot on this. You're, you sit, your butt's way down low and your knees come up way high. So we're, uh, we're gonna make it home under citizen power. But there you go. I hope you found that helpful or informative. And if you did and you like this kind of information, you now do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button and checking back here for more content. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, watching this painful ending to this video. As I try to climb this hill, ooh, it's so hard to pedal. <laughs> And the tank is really wide too. The little, you know, fake gas tank thing that your knees almost want to hit it as you try to pedal. So you don't want to be running out of battery on this bike. It's a good thing they gave you such a huge battery as you're going to need it. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Bye-bye.